uh, you're looking at some of the most fertile soil in the world here. Uh, although it's uh, mid-November and all the crops are out and we've had several hard freezes, it doesn't look like much now. It's these fields below us that uh, Charles Sobel uh, used for his research that was quoted in uh, the books by Ann Wigmore, Victoria Skolvinskis, uh, many other authors uh, that are writing about wheatgrass. So we're going to go down and look at some wheatgrass growing now in the middle of November. And uh, we're going to get some wheatgrass juice. Okay, now we're down on the valley floor. And what we're looking at here in front of us is certified organic wheatgrass. This wheatgrass was planted about a month ago. And uh, it grew to about this size. And now as, as the cold weather's coming in, it's freezing now at night. Uh, it's down below zero and centigrade It's uh, at night. It's a little warmer today, but I've still got on my jacket. This wheatgrass, not the stuff that's grown in a tray. It was the wheatgrass grown in this very fertile alluvial soil of eastern Kansas. This is where the glacier, last glacier, ended over the thousands of years. All that mineral deposit from those glaciers has been building up in these soils. Really are the basis of all the research. Uh, rather than do, growing uh, in a tray and growing it quickly, without the root structure and without the, all the benefits of sunshine and outdoor growth and, and the proper climate, you can, you, can, you can harvest this all winter long if you live in a climate that's growing wheat all winter long and it's cool, cold. This is considered to be some of the best soil for growing wheatgrass in the world, right here. And I'm going to be able to make juice out of it. Okay, now we're back. I've got, with the wheatgrass, uh, those of you who are fortunate enough to live in an area that grows wheat, through the winter can take advantage of this when you're growing in a tray you're planting the seeds way too close together and and you're making them grow way too fast uh, wheatgrass is a cold weather crop that small amount is so much darker green than anything you would ever get growing it in a tray. To give you an idea here, now that's just a, a, a big tablespoon there. I'm going to fill this glass with filtered water. Look at that. It's just about as green as it was before I put the water in there. Look at the foam on top. That is about the consistency which you would have with wheatgrass grown in a, in a tray, but with a flavor to get really the high quality wheatgrass juice, you need to grow it in its proper climate or uh, get some that's been grown in the proper climate and, and through a dehydration method similar to those that Ann Wigmore recommended and uh, use that in the dehydrated form. 